Hello, hello. It's Mr. Cook, and I'm here today to tell you how to do word ladders. So we're going to have some fun with this. Now, word ladders are real simple. They involve a ladder and some words. Oh, let us do it, okay? Uh, what you're going to do is you're going to get, open up your assignment, whatever the assignment is for word ladders, and then you're going to read the directions, which says, uh, look at the words, read the, read the words, the clues and start from the bottom and work your way up. Uh, it's the clues are going to tell you what your word you're looking for, a little definition of it, and then what you're going to either add or subtract to it to uh, make it a new word or change, whatever you got to do to it. So it's not real difficult. Uh, I think we're going to have some fun with it. So let's get started, okay? So let me transition over. This is where, once you open up Canvas, this is what you're going to get. It's going to look something like this. Okay, but it's going to have the actual assignment name up at the top. It's going to say word letter, and this when you do your first one, it'll say word letter two. Okay, whatever the title is. So what you're going to do to start with is you're going to click right here in the middle. You can see it kind of flash a little bit where it says word letter, feature, vegetables, whatever assignment's going to have the name there. You're going to click on it, and it's going to open up in your Google uh Docs, okay, so that you can work on it there. All right, I'm gonna see if I can make this a little bigger. Let's see, uh, uh, get most of it on there. Wanted to get it when we could see it all at one time. There we go. All right, so you see at the bottom, it's got a word vegetable, okay, and you're gonna always start at the bottom because how do you climb a ladder? You start at the bottom, you work your way up, okay. All right, so. Uh, our first clue, we look at the first step, a piece of furniture at which you eat meals. Where do you eat your meals at? At the kitchen table, right? All right, so it says take away four letters. So we look here at vegetable, and what four letters can we make it where it says table? We take away the V-E-G-E, -E, so we got table, okay? Now we look at the next clue, a place to keep horses. All right, add one letter. So we're going to add one letter. So we know it's not going to be a barn. It's not going to be a corral or anything like that. So we got to add a letter to it. Where do we keep horses? In a stable. I spell it right. Then we go up to the next step. To wound, to wound or pierce with a pointed weapon. Take away two letters. All right. So what can we make from that? We look at stable. We go, what can we do that take away that makes a wound or pierce with a pointed weapon? We're going to stab. Okay. A large, flat, often thick piece of something. It's like a concrete. You could get us, you know, a blank of cake or something like that. Not a piece. But you're only going to take uh, change one letter. So to change one letter to do that, it's going to be slab. All right, so we're going to make a slab of cake or a slab of concrete. A very messy or solemn person, change one letter. Some of y'all probably may have been called this in your past. You may have called somebody it. It's going to be a slob. All right, to splash a liquid about, we're going to take away the last letter and then add two. So, we're going to take away the last one and add two. S L O S H. Slosh. You slosh water. Okay. Our next clue to cut with big sweeping strokes, we're going to change one letter. So, what would you change? Usually, you try to change. Look at the vowel first. A lot of times you do that. Slash. We're going to change the O to an A. Okay. A small amount of something like a seasoning for food, take away two letters, then add one. All right, now this one you might have a little problem with. You got to think about it for a second. So, something like a small amount of something, kind of like you're going to take away two letters and add one. A dash, a dash of salt, a dash of pepper, a dash of paprika, something like that, okay? A plate on which food is eaten. Now this one y'all better get to. Could you use one of these every day? Dish. 
and then a red colored root vegetable. All right, and all you're going to do is add two letters, a radish, okay? That's how easy they are. You see, that took less than five minutes. Okay, y'all can do these, all right? A real simple one. Do, be sure you put your name at the top, okay? Now, when you get done, finish it up, you're happy with it, you are you, you said, okay, I got it done. Come over here, back to Canvas, all right, and you see now mine's all filled in. Now, on your screen, it doesn't show it on mine, but on your screen, it's going to have a submit button over here on the right. Be sure that you click that submit button. When you click that submit button, it sends it to me, okay? And that way I can upgrade it, okay? And so you don't have to do anything else but hit that submit button. But do make sure that it's all filled in down here at the bottom. If it's not, go up and hit the refresh, refresh the screen to make sure it comes in, okay? If you have any problems with it, just, just go back to your Google Drive, find that work, and then email it to me, okay? Share it with me. Uh, it'd be better like that. Or give me a holler back in class the next day, and you can show it to me in class, okay? All right, if you have any questions, Let's back. Lost my mouse. There we go. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, email me or cook at jpsms.org. All right, and uh, or catch me in class. All right, and we'll go over a little bit more. But it's real simple. It shouldn't take you very long. All right. So y'all have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Yeah.